Alright, this is vlog number 7, I think. Um, here, this is our second day here in Meteora, Greece. Our Greek might call it Meteora. Um, stunning. Check it out. Right behind me here, you can see beautiful rock ranges. Um, pretty much the little town of Kastraki, Kastaraki, which is down here. It's surrounded by this huge rock range. And essentially, I think I described in my other video, it's a rock range that used to be uh, submerged under sea level. And after time and um, earthquakes and tectonic shifts of tectonic plates and everything like that, this piece of land has been pretty much uh, from submerged lifted up. And during that time and that progress, you can see these little lines can show the water marks of water running through and eventually um, through time degrading it and carving in these spectacular details into the rocks and you can see the geography of it and every rock itself is so different um, you can't really see in the back but one of these boulders over here I think this one or one of these it's just a huge huge rock on top of uh, another rock and it's just this little piece like even like that guy right there but the one that I was pointing at I think over here it's just thin it looks like it's thin but still a huge piece of rock and it's lying there and it looks like at any time it'll fall over one way or another and it has no support but itself and it's just so unique um, it's pretty deep down as you can see we're about a couple hundred feet up right now uh, we are actually on the top of a monastery um, this monastery is called St. Nicholas I believe and we got Nicole down there I think over this way uh, if I look over to my right side, your left probably, there are a couple of more monsters. What's really cool is if you look at this guy right here, uh, it's kind of hard to see in this camera, but there's actually a little tiny steep uh, cliff or peak built on its own. And somehow somebody was able to climb up there and you can see uh, a little bit of a, a brick wall built in of itself. It's not, it uh, doesn't look like there's anybody there anymore, but it's amazing. Uh, if you, there's a bunch of different cliffs that just stick out, little pieces of land, and you can see that there are old monasteries or old houses, uh, probably through time and earthquakes. People abandoned them through sa uh, for safety reasons, of course. But yeah, it's, I've never seen anything like this before. It's pretty cool. I think this is another main monastery back over here. We're probably going to be checking that out either today or tomorrow. Uh, back over here. Is this? Uh, yeah, this is a pretty big rock range as well. Uh, you can see little tiny holes in them, like here. There are some that are don't look accessible, about still pretty high up. But you can see there are uh, brick walls built in them showing that they were inhabited. Uh, sometime long ago and so it's just really cool uh, Meteora you gotta see it if you're in Eastern Europe uh, specifically Greece uh, there's a couple more sites to see so we probably are going to extend our stay here instead of two days probably three or four days and uh, maybe check out different camping spots to stay into um, we're literally just kind of finding spots of land wherever we can just pitch our tent and maybe tonight find a place where we can make a fire. It's amazing here. Uh, gosh, there's so much details in this rock and the geography I can't even really begin to explain. Being up here on the monastery also, uh, you can see there's this little temple and uh, they're playing some sort of, I don't know, hymn or something like that and that attributed to just the environment being here. It's something spiritual, for sure. Um, you know, it's got a lot more to say, so. Uh, 